Hi all, uh, welcome to my channel. Uh, today I am going to show you how to create a Docker Swarm uh, cluster in the cloud environment. Uh, right now I am creating it on uh, Azure Cloud because I have that uh, MSDN subscription and I, uh, I am familiar with that Azure. We can create a VMs in, in order to um, install uh, or set up a Docker Swarm cluster. Now um, I am going to create uh, two VMs, one is for that manager node and another one is for worker node. If you want to create uh, uh, more number of workers, you can create more number of VMs uh, because for the demo purpose I am creating only one manager and one, oh, one worker node. Let's start creating that uh, VMs first. Uh, uh, after logging into that uh, Azure portal, in the left uh, in corner there is a uh, resource, Ubuntu. Uh, I am taking that Ubuntu latest uh, LTS uh, build and uh, click on that create button. Uh, you need to have that uh, research group in order to create a uh, VMs. Uh, I am selecting with my uh, already created research group. If you want, you can create a, a new research group and uh, enter that um, VM uh, name. You give it a name, demo manager. And uh, select that region. Uh, I am going to select that uh, East US2. Um, there you can get a lot of options. Uh, there are different sizes that are available and uh, that cost is it's less compared to that other regions. We are going to use it that uh, password related VMs. It's very easy for me to work on it. Because I came from that uh, Windows background. Uh, here you can select uh, uh, whatever that uh, ports you wanted to enable on that server. Later we can add uh, more ports uh, on that um, created VM. We need to change that uh, shutdown options. Uh, there is auto shutdown is enabled and by default. You, you have to disable it by selecting that option and go to that all our default values and you can um, after that validation you can create that VM. VM uh, basically the Docker Swarm uh, we can uh, host our applications uh, with uh, less cost and uh, maybe that less maintenance and uh, I'm going to use that uh, Gluster FS as a, a storage uh, uh, server in our uh, Docker Swarm cluster and I will create, I will give it, uh, select that resource group, the previous whatever the resource group and uh, maybe I will demo node, and demo node, yeah, and uh, select that region, I am going to use that same east, US2, there, uh, uh, if you want to uh, select different sizes, uh, price is also less compared to that other regions. Uh, Normally, I used to have this uh, 1000 rupees uh, VM. It has 2 GB RAM and uh, four data, uh, 2 data disks and uh, 1 CPU. That is uh, enough for that for um, Docker Swarm because we are going to add uh, uh, this node to that manager node. Manager is having 2, 2 GB and the node is also having 2 GB. It's a combined 4 GB of that uh, RAM. Uh, having that is uh, enough for that microservices. We are going to deploy the Docker based microservices uh, that will uh, serve for our purpose. If you want to have more uh, RAM and uh, data decks, you can choose different sizes. I'm going to use my name. After that, select that uh, 80 and 443 by default uh, because that 80 and uh, everything, if you want to host uh, any uh, that purpose, uh, uh, it requires 80 port. And uh, if you want to use that SSL, it requires 443 node. All other are default values, only we need to change that shutdown option. Uh, by default, it's auto shutdown is enabled for that all the VMs while creating, you can uh, off that uh, option. After that validation complete, you know, click on that create button, it, it's going to create uh, that VMs. Mm, as I mentioned, uh, basically I came from that uh, Windows background, but I uh, I learned myself that uh, uh, Linux related and Docker related uh, uh, I have that uh, gene to learn new things and 
i am hosting i started my own blog mm. i mentioned i have the tunit.me my uh, technical blog uh, articles i am creating there there are related to docker swarm cluster and microservices and uh, and, and they can uh, create their uh, own environment uh, at, uh, in that cloud and uh, they can host their um, applications uh, suppose that they wanted to host their blog or Uh, stories uh, a- anything next cloud uh, i see um, a lot of people are uh, seeing that next cloud environment and maria db uh, database and uh, that's what i wanted to uh, present here and also uh, i will show you after creating this uh, swarm environment i will show you that one by one um, how to deploy that uh, traffic uh, that is a uh, cloud native reverse proxy uh, that act as a load balancer and also cluster fs as i mentioned that is a storage environment now those vms are uh, uh, created first we need to um, enable that static ip on those vms uh, because if you uh, reboot those vms uh, that uh, ip uh, is automatically it's going to change uh, now i want to have that same ip uh, for the uh, two vms and now go to the ip and uh, uh, change it as a static uh, click on the public ip and they you have that option dynamic and static you can uh, select that is static and uh, click on save button <coughs> now the ip uh, ip uh, won't change if you reboot the uh, vms now we have two uh, oh, vms are created one is that manager node and uh, another one is that uh, worker node i am going to copy it ssh client uh, i am using m remote ng Uh, that is uh, very useful and uh, very user friendly uh, here um, i'm you can create uh, what are that uh, folders you can demo cluster you can create folders and there you can add a service by going to that folder you can have new connections there you can give that demo uh, master or tell that name you give i'm going to that view button there is configuration options there you can give that uh, host name like host name means that uh, ip address and username and password if you want if you don't want to enter it uh, uh, always you can uh, type that password here and it will automatically logs to this uh, vm now uh, select that is the one uh, rdp this protocol you need to uh, you need to select uh, sh h2 two version one is also fine but you can select this one now i'm going to add one more that node as well demo node go to that uh, node and uh, Uh, what is the type uh, copy the type to the clipboard and you and config uh, you can use that putty as well if you if you are familiar with putty but uh, you need to open that uh, uh, sessions different sessions for that putty uh, here it is very easy to add all the vms here and that is the most popular one putty can double click on to log to that vms mm, click on that s put ssh key a is uh, going to client here also click on s button uh, to add that uh, uh, key to this uh, client uh, permanently and you can update that sudo apt uh, minus get update uh, it's first time you are going to log to that uh, server you can update uh, Uh, so always update there are some updates are available in the cloud and upgrade sudo apt minus get upgrade click on s button it's going to use some of the space in that uh, disk and here as well on that 
not manager no i will give you the all the details in that whatever that commands i am running in that uh, uh, vms i will post those uh, uh, commands a uh, description of this uh, uh, video Yeah, now that our uh, servers are uh, updated and uh, updated to that uh, latest packages, patches, and the two servers, and uh, now I am going to show you that uh, uh, how to install the Docker and Docker uh, Docker Compose and uh, Cluster FS uh, on the two uh, servers. Mm. Uh, I, as I mentioned, I will post all the. Uh, Mm, commands order that commands I'm running in that uh, description of this video first uh, check is there any uh, docker installed on that uh, uh, servers and uh, it is okay and there is no uh, package installed uh, because uh, now uh, click add this uh, prerequisites on, uh, on both the servers Now that uh, add that uh, uh, official uh, Docker uh, GPG key uh, to the service. Now add this command to uh, get that stable uh, uh, Docker CE version. Uh, it is better to have that stable version always if you are going to install the docker ce uh, you need to have that stable version repository now uh, uh, update our uh, um, servers by running this uh, uh, sudo app and uh, get update command and because we added those uh, uh, GPC key of the Docker and uh, also that stable repository. If any th if any updates are there, it will pull those updates as well. Now proceed installing the Docker uh, CE version. Uh, there are two versions are available: uh, community and uh, enterprise version. And uh, I'm not uh, uh, tested that enterprise, but uh, uh, community version is uh, fine. Mm, it has all the whatever that. Uh, features you wanted to use those are all inbuilt community means you can use that uh, docker uh, maybe cloud by default we need to run those uh, whatever that commands are running on the uh, two vms uh, if you wanted to add more workers you need to run those uh, commands on all the VMs. VMs you are going to use, I am going to use only one uh, worker node and also this uh, manager one manager node. You can, uh, I am just adding my name to the talker group. Mm, if, you, if you don't want to run uh, all the commands using sudo, uh, you can uh, eliminate by adding that uh, user to the talker group. Or now add that uh, stable release, uh, docker compose uh, stable release to the servers, uh, to the servers. Uh, you can check that, uh, whatever that uh, I checked it and maybe you can 2.1.26.2, uh, uh, that is the stable version, uh, current one. Uh, you can check by going to this. Uh, Here, yeah, yeah 1.26.2 that is the uh, latest uh, uh, compose version. And there, you need to here you can change uh, that is the latest one currently we are having. 
and uh, give the permissions execut uh, executable permissions uh, for the binary Now we have that, uh, uh, I will show you that uh, uh, docker is installed. If you want to uh, check the docker version, docker version, yeah, that is the uh, docker version, docker compose version and docker info. If you want to uh, see the docker info here, you will get an error message because you don't have that uh, uh, sudo rights to uh, give. I just log out and log in to see. We just added that uh, uh, my name to this uh, Docker group. Uh, maybe after log out, it should be fine to uh, see the Docker info. It, 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 it don't take that much time to reboot uh, because these are the uh, Linux servers. Uh, not uh, uh, I'm using Ubuntu. Not only that Ubuntu. Uh, every Linux is uh, uh, super fast. Yeah, no, you have uh, without uh, uh, appending our sudo, you can get uh, using the Docker info. Uh, 